continues and the housekeeping before we do our final piece, which is called Honest Dover's Fancy. First of all, I should thank Kate Fawcett because she spotted this piece at the Port Garden Museum. Actually, beautifully engraved book with the pages open with this song, which has a tune from 1698 called Greenwich Park, I believe. But the words are by John Maysfield in 1904. So we've got some old and some new in it. So that will be the final piece. And it involves all of our students with some actions made up by the young people. But I have some more thank yous. There's so many. Um, I need to thank Clive Thompson and the Jefferson Games Committee because they put together quite a few meetings about how to celebrate this big anniversary. So that also comes in a seed about two years ago, not two years later, not 400 years ago. Um, I need to thank Charlie Bennett and all the trustees of the Chicken Camden Music Festival. Charlie's not here right now. He would have liked to be here, but he couldn't. But the festival does put its money where its mouth is. So the festival has put in some, the festival has put in some of its own money towards our Heritage Lottery bid, which was a total of about 17,000 pounds. Um, Chip and Kevin put in some, some support as well. Chip and Kevin School provided us with a hall, a lot of support there. Um, I'd especially like to thank the Cotswold School, who made a very generous donation. Um, I'd particularly like to thank, um, of course, the personnel, like I should have said. Um, the Chip and Kevin School, we have Leon James, uh, who's been helping us and taking care of a lot of the little things we needed. Uh, Cotswold School, I'd like to thank Tim Briggs, who we've worked with over the years as well as Ms. Lauren O'Hanlon, who's been working closely with the actual students today, the both here. Then I'd like to thank St. Catherine's Catholic Primary, who have also made a donation, and particularly Ms. Stephanie Lovell, who supported the festival many, many years, and Ms. Gabriel Hunter, who's been the teacher working with those students there, alongside the tutors. I'd like to thank St. James and Everton Schools. Um, Ms. Jo Johnson's been very helpful ever since she started as head there. She's been very supportive. Ms. Leslie Vox, I don't believe she's here tonight, but she supported these students every week when they had sessions. And also Ms. Newton, who's here, who was also supporting that class. So I'd like to thank them and for their donations. I then need to thank my tutors. Um, Andy Watts, who's over there, who's very experienced, is um, originally recruited to the project, and it was just going to be him and myself. And then I had a child in January and realized I couldn't do it all. So I'd also like to thank Kate Foster, who's there, and Carol Green, who's over there. And they've all brought really tremendous creative energy to the project. Uh, and it's evolved in wonderful ways, which I couldn't anticipate. And it's really lovely to see what different results we've gotten from this very interesting material. Um, finally, I need to thank the students who've all put in a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of creative energy. Obviously, none of this would have happened without them. I'd like to thank the parents for supporting them and coming out tonight. And your final duty as parents, should you wish to accept permission, will be to help to stack the chairs and heat the rows against the walls, because there are quite a lot of people here, and that would be great. Um, before we do the final piece, the housekeeping bit, we will ask at the end of the program, obviously after the applause has died away, uh, the students from St. James will collect all the instruments and put them back by their chairs and then put them into their cases. And so it happens with the very smooth way in their cases. And those schools will then, we'll start with St. James, they will explain how the parents come and collect children. They don't come right to you, you come to them, okay? To make sure that you have seen the teachers. The same with St. Catherine. And while that's going on, then the two secondary schools can have different things over there. Where your mother's up. So, we'll do our final piece, which is called Honest Joe's Fancy, which has been arranged.